Okay, so we started off today with the uh, clay test for the hollow point pellets, and this is the results of the Crosswind Premier. Nice damage. There's the cut. Time to open up this bad boy. Right there, you can see the pellet. Move this slightly with a knife, but I did not damage it. It's good deformation. You'll see a close up of all these at the end of this video. Not bad. Cavitation. A definite difference right there. You see it's a much bigger cavity in the initial entry point. This is the entry point. Once it gets got gets to here right here, but with a whole lot more, and then just narrowed down as it went through. Alright, here it is. The Benjamin hollow point pellet. Let's cut this bad boy open. pellet. Not bad damage. Let's take that guy out. There he is. So I'll line, line him up in order and see the comparison. Uh, this one did not expand as much as that uh, Premier hollow point. They're basically the same pellet. Uh, did it make it as far? Uh, we'll see in the comparison view. Alright, here we go. The RWH. RWS. Super H point. Cutting this bad boy down. expansion good cavitation right there you can see it's a great cavitation right there just past the entry point so you still have that nice bottleneck down here made it quite far further than the rest of them so far it made it past the it made it to the base of the green and here is the body of it Looks like the uh, the hollow point kind of just completely ripped off the skirt. So I'll show a close-up of that later. Still a few pieces in here, tiny little fragments, uh, but great damage. All right, here we have it, the Crossman Destroyer. And uh, usually that back piece falls off. So maybe it stuck on this time, maybe it went straight through. Nope, no damage on that. Kind of hoping the destroyer would make the difference with that pointed tip in the middle of the hollow point. So, it's actually, you can actually see a nice little ring of damage right there just past the entry point. And uh, I think that's from where, that's where it expanded the most, is just about that eighth of an inch past the entry point. Now it's time to cut this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Ooh, now this one went the furthest. It's right there. In the red. I think the, uh, the 
hollow portion either warped all the way back and just fused back to itself or broke off. I'm gonna look for a uh, piece. And once again, you'll get a close-up of these at the end. Let's see. But it made it the furthest, it made it into the red. So far, none of them have done that. Way too low. That damage of ring, uh, that ring that I told you about, that, that very nice damage. There's lead all around it before that hollow point, that cup at the, at the front broke off, just expanded and just blew off. You can see little bits of lead all around. I'm gonna pick these out so they don't uh, affect the other shots. But wow, that is awesome. So the cup at the front, that hollow point just broke off, just shattered into pieces about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch into the uh, clay, and then the core for that point just kept going. So this is an amazing pellet for damage, both for initial damage and penetration. I actually found this right by the base, right here. The little polymer tip to the Gamma Red Fire, which is the one we shot. Uh, and right away you can see, in there you see that little extra kind of line of clay. That, pe that pellet, uh, it looks like the, that polymer tip blew out through the back of the pellet, leaving a hole in the middle of the pellet or make it make it kind of like a tube and allowing clay to shoot through the middle of that pellet so the, the clay traveled through the middle of that pellet I'm gonna cut it out but look at that damage right off the bat very significant I'm gonna leave that bit of clay that's in it. Right there, it's completely mushroomed out and there's a bit of clay in the middle of it. That is some decent damage, but that's all up front damage. Um, but it is amazing up front damage. All right, stay tuned for the next, and that was a Gamma Red Fire. Here is the Gamo Rocket. Not much to see there. Very deep hole. Once again, that this block stuck on, so I'm going to see if maybe it went through. It did. Only one to make it straight through to the second red block. So I'm going to peel this guy out. Yep, not bad. There's that exit hole from the initial block. See straight through it. See a little bit of color variation there. So it went straight through. Now let's cut this bad boy open and see what kind of damage it got. Not bad. Very small travel channel. Not too big, but did bow a little bit the way hollow points do usually right past the initial energy point but not as much as the others but did get the best penetration so far so and I th I'm gonna give credit to that steel BB at the core that copper head okay YouTube here comes that Ruger hollow point pellet did quite a bit of damage pretty good uh, 
last couple tests, Rupert has not performed quite well. On this one, it seems to be doing decent. So let's see, did it make it to the second red block? No. No damage, no exit hole. In the second red block. So let's cut it open and get that pellet out. did go quite a ways, it actually made it to the first red block. You can see it in there, but it's right in here. If you get it out, like the rest, did that bit of damage right at the uh, base, there's the pellet. It's pretty well covered in clay. Let's see if I can clean it off without warping this guy. But here it is. Um, close ups coming up so you can get a good look at these guys. Stay tuned. Here's a good view of all the pellets in order that they fired. That Ruger is completely covered, but it is, it, that's the shape of it right there. There's what's left of that uh, steel BB and for the Gamma rocket. Then it's that Gamma red fire with that clay still stuck in the middle of it. It completely became a donut. Then it's the uh, Crossman destroyer. And it lived to its name. There's all the little bits of that hollow point it had. And there's the RWS Super H point and its skirt that broke off. There's that uh, Benjamin. Looks like it flattened out the most out of all these. Benjamin flattened out the most. And second for flattening out was the Crossman Premier. That Crossman Premier pretty good um, I'll give you the overall winners at the end of this hope you had fun with that stay tuned for the next like subscribe sideways go gangsta <laughs> <laughs>